20 years ago today, one of the most bizarre stories began to unfold. What began as a reported bank robbery quickly turned into what would be known as the pizza bomber. Since then, the crime has spawned books, plays, even a television docu-series. But for those who were actually there on August 28, 2003, nothing will compare to the memories they have of that bizarre afternoon. And that includes the first news crew on scene. The images are unforgettable. Bank robbery suspect Brian Wells sitting in a Summit Township parking lot with a bomb locked around his neck. That direction, the man was sitting there as he was. Jet 24's Brian Sheridan was the only reporter on the air as those first tense moments played out with photographer Dan Holland behind the camera. All it took was for me to come around that corner behind the McDonald's and look over the hill and see the state troopers and Brian Wells sitting there to know, ooh, this isn't our basic bank robbery. That was the days of like, you know, the anthrax, the white powder scares. I mean, I, we went to more things that turned out to be nothing and you just covered them that day. But as soon as we pulled up, you could just kind of tell that there was something different about this one. Their first special report cut short by technical issues. Sheridan and Holland were waiting to get back on the air when they witnessed the unthinkable. The lone camera there in a world before today's social media and smartphones. All of a sudden you felt the concussion in your chest and you heard the shrapnel flying over your head and landing all around you and it was it was shocking. It took days for that story to get out to the rest of the country and the world. Today it would have been instantaneous and we would have lost control of that story immediately. 20 years later, many questions about the twisted scheme have been answered, but many others probably never will. It began with a bang and ended with a whimper, really, because there was no deathbed confessions or prison, you know, revelations on this. The people involved, they were arrested, tried and convicted, and they died. Fire insurance on Carter Beach. It's his responsibility. Well, Brian Sheridan is now a professor at Mercyhurst University. Dan Holland is an award-winning photojournalist in Buffalo.